Grant, it is 2019 vibes right now. The 49ers are undefeated. Jimmy is undefeated. It's Jimmy's team. Yeah, it is. Good for Jimmy, man. 2019 vibes. Are we supposed to be on this topic? Yes, like, defensive yes. line dominance. Okay, here so, we go. So, I mean, here we go. In my mind, the Packers' offensive line's a train wreck waiting to happen, right? Oh, yeah. Can the vaunted 49ers defensive front take advantage? This is the key question. Of course. Absolutely. I mean, yes, absolutely. Who who do the Packers have? Let's go through it. On the uh, left side, left tackle. The second guy is nicked up, so they're probably going to their third stringer or swing Billy Turner over from right tackle to left tackle. You got to do it. The third string left tackle starts at right tackle. Disaster. Yeah. Left guard, a rotation between weeks one and week two. So they don't know who they're going to start there at left guard. Center's a rookie. Right guard's a rookie. A second and a fourth round draft pick. It's primed to take advantage of. This is an inexperienced line, an inexperienced center against a dominant defensive front. Are you expecting them to trash Aaron Rodgers on Sunday? Oh, yeah. I, I would expect them to get four or five sacks. Doesn't mean the Niners will win. But, oh, yeah. And I think the only thing that the Packers can do, I'm trying to think how this game's going to play out. You play two, you play split safeties against Aaron Rodgers. If you play single high, that's one-on-one on the outside, and he's not afraid, and your corners aren't that great. They're not proven. So you play two safeties, and you say, okay, well, they got a good running back, too, but you got you got to pick your poison here. And Aaron Jones, you're the one. So two high safeties. If the Packers can get their run game going and they can get a play action game going and they can just slow down the pass, the, the pass rush and get Rodgers on the move a little bit, you know, he don't have to be fast, just rolling out on play action. Well, there are opportunities to throw down the field against the Niners secondary from what I saw on the coach's film. Jalen Hurts tried. Jalen Hurts is not Aaron Rodgers. So uh, it needs to dominate. It needs to – what Aaron Rodgers, the thing about him, you can, like, get him to quit. He'll lose heart. And if yes. he feels like it's just not going well, this is what the 29, you want to talk about 2019 vibes. That D line would sort of crush your will early. They did it to Baker Mayfield. They did it to Rogers multiple times. So let's see if they can do that. But I think there's also, it's paired up with a deep, with an offense that just jumps all over you quickly. And the Niners did that week one. They did not do that week two. Can they do it in this game? I'm curious. Because there's not there much there's not much that they're hitting you with right now. George Kittle said, you know, Kyle likes to wow people under the lights. Is going to be okay, man. Let's see it. Because there's only so many ways you can throw the ball within five yards of the line of scrimmage and ask Debo and Kittle to act, to break seven tackles. There's only so many ways. Thankfully, when looking back at the Packers' defense, they have struggled against that very same attack. If we no, just continue to do what soft. Jimmy does real well, soft team can't tackle. They have good skill position players. They have good little guys, but their big guys are never good. They're the same. They've been the same team basically for the last since I was in college, man. They're the same team ever since Rodgers has been there. Like, let's just spend way too much money on him and put give him like one good wide receiver, um, you know, one good pass rusher, one good offensive lineman, maybe two, and that's it. That's the, but one good corner. The rest of the team is whack, 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 whack. I, I agree with you that the 49ers have to keep it in front of them. If if you give Rodgers too much time or let him escape the pocket and allow him to get deep to Devontae Adams or MVS, that can truly open this game up in a way that, that 49ers fans do not want to see. You have to get on Rodgers early. I saw him completely check out in week one and even in week two. I mean, let's not forget that the Lions went into halftime leading that game 17-14. to 14. freaking Lions. The Lions. And you can't check out against the Lions. They're at home. They stink. You're not going to give up against the Lions. But the Niners, you're on the West Coast. You could give up. Yes, you can. Uh, It is Sunday night. The lights are on. He doesn't care. You would think. but I've seen him quit on on primetime many a time. The looks he shot at the sideline when anything didn't go his way, when the wide receiver broke left when he was expecting him to break right, it was just disgust. And I can't tell if it's – anger at LaFleur, if it's anger at the receiver, or if it's just I'm Aaron Rodgers and, you know, everyone else isn't doing what they're asked. That's it. And I he, he gives the Aaron Rodgers look all the time, and I can't stand it. But, uh, look, I'm, look this, this secondary is a little overrated right now. The Eagles saw something on film, and they went after it. Remember, week one, the, the, the Lions had no receivers. The Eagles were very, very aggressive. And Rieger caught it. He just stepped out of bounds by this much. 
Uh, they had a 91 yard catch that would have been a touchdown had they not been on the three yard line. Uh, there was one to Devontae Smith that Tart broke up because Hurts threw it late and, and and short. There are opportunities there, and if if uh, the Niners front seven doesn't totally dominate this game, oh, they're going to lose. They're, it's Aaron Rodgers, but they have and they can and they probably will. So let's and answer the Oh, go ahead. They have elite safeties as well that as long as those veterans are playing sound football behind the deep passes, I think that's the combination. The front seven and the safeties deep help cover up the cornerback deficiencies. Yeah, and I think the Niners were a little more aggressive against the Eagles. It's a run first team. You're playing yes. eight in the box, single high safety. So they took their shots. Um, if you play too high against the Packers, two safeties, and you're inviting the run and you're opening up the middle of the field, then that's you're going to see Robert Tanyan. Get involved, and we'll see if uh, I mean he's not going to beat you. So that's I think teams f feel like they have much more success against Rodgers and Mahomes. You got to they're the threat. Take away the long chunk throws and make them execute like Jimmy. <laughs> make them play like Jimmy. Dean says, "What do you think about the potential of the NFC title game happening this weekend between Tampa Bay and the Rams?" Oh, what about Arizona though. What about Arizona though? But yeah, no, it's positive. Definitely potential. Be, it'd be fun to watch. Certainly what about this two game? of the top teams. What about this game this Sunday? You're writing off the Niners? Unbelievable. Dang, bro. Great opportunity to uh, to to start Lance. GB defense poor at rushing and allows time in the pocket along with enhancing the run game. That's a good point. If you do want to let Lance throw, now's a good time. They didn't want to let him throw against the Eagles. Maybe it's because that is a really good pass rush. They let him throw against Lions. They have no pass rush. But wouldn't you agree that it you know, seems Kyle so. Shanahan really wants control over this quarterback situation? Like, above all else, he wants to dictate when and how Lance is used and if he ever takes over, right? Yes, but I think what's ironic is he doesn't have control. The locker room has control. Jimmy and, has control. I would say if he inserts Lance, if there is any doubt in this game on Sunday night football, if he inserts Lance, you can't walk that back. 